Hey guys, so it's definitely been a while since I've made a video and I'm finally getting back into the craft room, starting some new projects, working with my Cricut and Silhouette again. So I hope to have some projects posted um, to share soon. Having said that, I did get a new toy. I recently purchased a Silhouette Cameo 4. And as part of that purchase, I was required to update to the newest version of Silhouette Studio. Now, unfortunately, the newest version of Silhouette Studio has a, a slight conflict with the newest version of Mac OS 10, which is Catalina. So this video is for my people who are running uh, Mac OS 10 Catalina, the newest update. And for those of you who either want to try the newest version of Silhouette Studio just to see what it's all about, or you have the new machine, so you need to update. So if you go ahead and you're running Mac and you try to open the software after you install it, you automatically get this pop-up that says, Silhouette Studio can't be open because Apple cannot check it for malicious software. Um, initially, I thought that there was no way to get past this, but I talked to some of my more techie friends and they told me there is a way um, to go into the background and bypass this. And basically, this is Apple's built-in firewall. Um, as an Apple user, typically in the Mac OS world, you almost rarely or never see this pop up for most apps because they're fairly controlled in, by Apple. Anyways, I digress. So since I got this pop up, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say, okay, I'm gonna go down and open system preferences. And then I'm gonna go ahead and open this option here that says security and privacy. Once I go ahead and click on that, there is an option to figure out what is going on with that piece of software. So if I click on firewall here, you can see the firewall is on. And then if I go to general, you can see that the firewall blocked Silhouette Studio and it pops up right away. It says Silhouette Studio was blocked because it's from an unknown or it is not from a known developer. So I'm going to go ahead and sell it to open anyway. But before I do that, I actually have to click so that I can make changes. You may be asked to enter your password at this point. I have Touch ID, which is why I wasn't asked um, to enter a password. But you'll go ahead and you'll click Open Anyway. And then it's going to give you a warning one more time. You can just go ahead and click Open. And now Silhouette Studio will pop up and start to load. So that is it for me, guys, for this video. In the event that you do decide you want to update to the new software and you absolutely hate it, there is a way to go back to the old versions of Silhouette Studio or to run two versions at once on the same machine. Um, and I will try to re remember to link those videos below. But like I said, uh, that's it for me, guys. Thanks for watching.